asked our dad to coach us each year. We're like, Dad, would you please coach us? He never wanted to coach us. And I remember this one year, okay, I was playing on a team, and there was this kid by the name of Cameron. And everyone's had a teammate that's like Cameron, the kid that's not very good, it's not very fast, can't really throw the ball, he bats last in the lineup, he plays the minimum amount of innings. The coaches didn't really pay much attention to him because it's Cameron. I apologize if your name's Cameron. <laughs> Are there any Camerons in here? Okay, good. <laughs> and um, one day, Cameron was in the hole warming up, you know, swatting it flies, like trying to swing the bat. Like you could tell this kid didn't have many mechanics of how to swing the bat. Well, my dad started to work with him. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope he gets a hit. I hope this is the experience that really helps my dad want to become a coach. Well, he gets up to bat. What do you think happens? Yeah, he strikes out. Okay, I was like, oh, man, now my dad's not going to want to work with him because he didn't, he wasn't successful. Well, the next time around, my dad works in, with him again. And I was like, oh, this time he's going to get a hit. What do you think happened? Strikes out again. And he did this all year long with the same result. And each time it just, oh, yeah, my dad's never going to want to coach. I remember the last game of the season. Dad's still working with him. He gets up to bat, two strikes on him. Last pitch come, he reaches back, he makes the swing, and it barely hits the ball. The ball dribbles down the left line. And his eyes are wide open. He can't believe he just hit it. We're like, run, run. So he starts running down the line, barely beats the throw out at first. And he was so happy. He starts, he takes his helmet off. He starts running back to the bench. We're like, dude, you got to run the bases. He didn't, he's never been on base before. He's just used to walking back to the bench. So he didn't know. And after that game, his parents walked up to my dad. said thank you thank you for teaching my son and that very next year my dad came and he coached us and we ended up taking first place and guess who came back to play on that team Cameron but Cameron wasn't the old Cameron Cameron threw better he was faster and even if he wasn't the best player on the team he went here. He went from here to here. And that's what I believe coaches do. And I believe all leaders are coaches. When I work with leaders of all levels, 